The most important, in my opinion, is observation about the image of the National Assembly and what you can do collectively about it. Um, the National Assembly is perceived, he said, at best as indifferent. I can be more blunt. The National Assembly as, is seen as an opposition to the fight against corruption. Uh, I think Hakim, because of his job, perhaps is being diplomatic, but I don't work for you and I can tell you that the National Assembly, particularly the Senate, is seen as one of the fighters of the war against corruption. And this image has to be worked on. Um, if we are going into elections in two years, I remember no writing of results, there is card reader. I think it is in the interest of the leadership and membership of the National Assembly to do something about this narrative. I don't believe it is entirely true. I do not believe it is entirely false either. But in these days of social media, and these young people are all connected to it, I think it's very, very important that the National Assembly does something about its image. Some steps can be taken. More transparency in your budgets, for instance. Nobody knows your budget. Nobody knows how much you get paid. So publications are made about your salaries and allowances that I do not believe are true, but cannot be defended because there is no transparency about your budgeting or your personal cost and so on and so forth. I think you can do something about that uh, to clear all the rumors and remove all the evil stories that are largely untrue. And here again, I think the bureaucracy of the National Assembly has a role to play. Uh, we are politicians. We are here for four years and we leave. The National Assembly, of course, has no t the time limit. But we do things and we go. And the high turnover in the National Assembly, the last time I checked, about 80% of the members of the National Assembly don't get re-elected. Because of this high turnover, your role as bureaucrats of the National Assembly is even more important than in the executive branch. Because the turnover in the executive branch is much, much lower than in the National Assembly. We have already instructed the leadership of the bureaucracy to publish the budget details of the National Assembly. And we appreciate those who have put forth a struggle to ensure that we achieve this level of transparency. I must concede the fact that no parliament anywhere can win the popularity contest. It's not possible. And Nigeria's case cannot be different. You will be having some kind of misfortune if you attempt to join the issues with intellectuals mm -hmm. such as my elder brother, the governor. But as intellectuals, we'll expand issues. We will add to the issues for discussion. And I would like to challenge him to champion this call for transparency on budgetary, budgetary process from the National Assembly to other arms of government. Judiciary first. We want to see clearly too how chief executives of states, how they are paid,